with YouTube. It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. Thank you guys for tuning back in, pulling back up. Y'all, tonight, we're going to be jumping into Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. Uh, I believe this is another Quentin Tarantino flick. Um, 1992. Yeah. So, I don't know. Is I think this might be before Quentin Pope Fiction. Tarantino. I think. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. You, you, hey, because we've already done Pulp Fiction, uh, we've done Kill Bill, we've done Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. So we kind of been picking up on Quentin Tarantino's vibe and kind of, kind of how he directs and kind of put these movies together. Yeah. Y'all know what I said about Quentin Tarantino last time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, he's a very interesting person. Okay. But no, his movies are really good though. Yeah, they They're are. They're really good. They are. Like, and I like how he how he has like a cameo. He always has himself in there too as well as like a little cameo and so he not only like directs, but he also be he acts in there too as well. Which one has been your favorite so far? Can you name which one is your favorite so far? Uh I got I got to say Pulp Fiction just because of um Really? Tim Roth. Um Ving Rhames, you put me on the spot. Ving Rhames, Bruce Willis. They had a great cast. John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it. Yeah, that's right. But he, but I can't say he, he always has, like, a great cast of, like, actors. Yeah, I think mine so far, you know? like, well, I've enjoyed them all. But, like, one that really stands out in my head is Kill Bill. Kill Bill was fire. <laughs> what did you like about it? Everything. Everything about it, like, the storyline, kind of how it gave you, like, the background at the beginning, like, the intro, how she kind of introduced you to everything and, and even in the second one like i i, I want to say it's like volume two is what it's referred mm -hmm. to as but still like i've i've heard people talk about kill bill forever and i've until we watched it i was like oh my gosh this movie's so fire yeah yeah <laughs> so fire but all of that to say like inglorious bastards was good to me like everything we watched actually so and pulp fiction too and, pulp fiction, and then like i said the great cast of characters great cast of actors and then wasn't um, um he also the director of django Django, Jackie Brown. Oh gosh, so, we watched a lot so, of yeah, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, hey, yeah. shout we, out we to could, Quentin Tarantino. We could go on okay? for a long time. Wow. So I'm trying to see: is this going to be pretty edgy, like we've kind of already seen with some of his other movies, or is this going to be a little light? Come on, there hasn't been one know. that's like not edgy that he like has you holding your breath, pushing the boundaries. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, so I'm excited to get into this, y'all. I've never seen it before. I don't think neither one of us have actually. No. So. And you guys have highly suggested this one too. Yeah, I've seen this one probably since we started our channel. Yeah, same. for us to check out Reservoir Dogs. So yeah. hey, we here, y'all here. Hey, sit back, kick back, relax. Make sure y'all <laughs> got time to watch this entire reaction. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's jump in. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind the scenes footage, Patreon posts, and access to all of our TV series as well, all over on Patreon. And all of that to say, are you ready? Cameraman, roll that footage. I know, this is about to be crazy, okay? There's not one Quentin Tarantino movie that doesn't leave you on the edge. I'm just saying. Who's a regular fuck machine? Now I'm talking morning, day, night, afternoon. <laughs> Be a virgin. Hence, like a virgin. Wow. <laughs> Look at that fucking. Wow, that's <laughs> Look, right. What the hell do you think you are doing? You and my chung, fucking Charlie Chan. We got Madonna's big coming out of my left ear, and Toby <laughs> the Jap. I don't know what, coming out of my right. Hey, Madonna. Give me that book. You shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. <laughs> that was a nice line. <laughs> hey, I changed my mind. Shoot this piece of shit, will you? <laughs> Everybody got suits on. All right, everybody cough up some green for a little bit. Except him. I don't think they don't look like businessmen. Don't give me that. She don't make enough money. She can quit. <laughs> the ball is the same. They'll go a tip. Uh, let me just get the tip. If they really put forth the effort, I'll give them something extra. But I mean, it's tipping automatically. Uh, it's for the birds. <laughs> I mean, as far as. Special. Taking the back and suck. 
<laughs> That's special. <laughs> I'd go over 12%. It's the world's smallest violin playing just for the waitresses. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> These people bust their ass. Right. This is a heart. It's the one job basically any woman can get and make a living on. The reason is because of their tips. Mm. Fuck all that. You believe in tipping every time? Yeah. Yes. Mr. Pink, why not? You don't tip. You don't tip? What do you mean you don't tip? Right. You don't believe in it. Shut up. I'll pay for the breakfast I'll put in, but normally I would never do this. Never mind what you oh, man, it's just a dollar. Right. Just talking your goddamn fuck like everybody else. Thank you. Sheesh. Trying to figure out why they all dressed alike. Yeah. <laughs> you recognize him. Yeah. Steve Buscemi. I almost recognize everybody except Eddie for him. Bunker. I knew. I thought that was him. I was about to say, <laughs> is that him? He was in Pulp Fiction. Remember Honey Bunny? Uh, when they were sticking up the diner. Oh, yeah. At the end, yeah. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Doctor. The doctor's gonna fix you up. And you're gonna be okay. Man, it's everywhere. Say it. Oh, okay, Larry. Correct. Correct. It, he don't look okay, though. He's, he's starting to get a little pale. Sheesh. It ain't even been five minutes. Larry! You're a tough guy. You're a fucking tough guy. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh. Should be in time now. He's going to help you out. He's going to take care of you. Where the hell Joe at? I'm just going to sit here and we're going to wait for Joe. Uh, you going to wait for Joe? Mm. Oh, man. I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> uh, Joe, I'm be scared. Strap me on the sidewalk. I take care of myself. I'll be like, take me to the hospital. That's what he's telling him. Fucking die, kid. All right. Listen to me. You're gonna be fine. Where is Joe? You're gonna wish you were dead. But it takes days to die from your wound. Time is on your side. Oh! Son of a fucking son of a what? This is bad. This is so fucking bad. Is it bad? Yeah. As opposed to good? It's bad. It's fucked up. But if I know we got set up, I mean, really, seriously, where did all those cops come from, huh? One minute they're not there, and the next minute they're there? I, guess I didn't hear any sirens. That's not Joe, huh? Oh. Oh. Someone off, okay? We're alone. Who the hell something knows about this place? They got the cops here waiting for us, man. They could be cops coming here right now. He's stressing me out. <laughs> he just rambling. I think he forgot his friend got shot. He worried about the cops. <gasps> well, if they running from the cops, he can't go to the hospital. <laughs> I, I say to drop me off at the emergency room and y'all leave. He said drop me off and just leave is what he said. <laughs> Dang. Damn, they just left him. Oh, man. And it's his stomach, too. Tell her to be cool, Ringo. Be cool. Relax. Have a cigarette. I quit. <laughs> Why, you got one? 
You said what? You got one? <laughs> What's up with they homie though? I don't know. I have a feeling Joe not coming. Man, and he in there suffering. Whole time. What kind of friends are they? Cops are outside. Right. Damn, I blink my eyes and they're there. I, I'm not saying they weren't there. I'm saying they were there. But they didn't make a, a, a move until after the Mr. Blonde started shooting everybody. Hmm. You're right, this is bad. <laughs> he got shot in the commencement of a crime. That's why he don't want to take him to the hospital. You get out. Oh, fuck out of the Oh. Oh. Now, I'm not. Right now, Grand Theft Auto. Oh. Oh, he let he let off. No real people. Man, could you believe Mr. Blonde? That was the most insane fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah, and that was a fucking miracle. But even if they did get away, then where the fuck are they? Yeah. Best thing is possible where I'm going. Especially Joe. He still ain't showed up, did he? <laughs> At all. I'm back. It was a four-man job. Discover one of the team was an undercover cop. Man, that's bad news. That's bad business. So who's the rat this time? Mr. Blue? Mr. Brown? Hey, you don't know a fucking thing about this bullshit. Hey, look, I've known Joe since I was a kid, okay? And me saying he definitely had nothing to do with it is ridiculous. I mean, I that kid in there is dying from a fucking bullet I saw him take. So don't you be calling him a rat. Shoot. Sure. Right. Is he still oh, there? Fucking right. Go down the hall, make a left go up the stairs, and make a right. Shoot. One thing for certain, two things for sure, there's always a rat in every crew. A couple jobs together. Hell of a woman. Good little thief. Mr. White. Something from the Diamond Syndicate. But on this particular day, they're getting a shipment of polished stones from Israel. <sighs> they like the cut, Papa. Juicy, Junior. Real juicy. <laughs> hey, that's all you gotta say. I'm in. Look, juicy. Man, you uh. Shit, did he fucking die on us? Uh. Huh? Is he dead or what? Most likely. He scared the fucking shit out of me, man. I thought he was dead for sure. <laughs> so he no will be. Attention. He will die. Joe could get him to a doctor. We've been waiting on Joe the whole time. Get a doctor time. to come to see him. How are we gonna get in touch? With him? Huh? He's supposed to be here, but he ain't, which is making me very nervous about being here. What's well, him your name when you weren't supposed to? Hmm. He asked. So he had just gotten away from the. He's screaming. I swear to God, I thought he was gonna die right then and there. You look like he Trying to comfort him. I mean, the man was dying in my arms. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Man, he's not alive. Uh, well, maybe I should have, but I couldn't. I fuck know. you and fuck <laughs> you! Yeah, I'm sure it was a very beautiful scene between you. Hey. hey. Tell you again to back off me. You're going to go round and round. We ain't taking him to a hospital. So are, like, none of them friends? Back. And I'm very sad about that, but some fellas are lucky and some ain't. No, I think they are. Oh! Oh, he had enough. Hello? You kids shouldn't play so rough. Somebody's gonna start crying. Please tell me this is Joe. It's the blood. It's not. How are they 
all in on something and nobody knows anybody's name. Like they all operating on their own. Oh, because we got shit we need to talk about. We're already freaked out. See so you start talking now. Need you acting freaky like a... We think we got a rat in the house. Well, that's not joking. I guarantee we got a rat in the house. What makes you say that? Is that supposed to be... Freaky you have a med man! Almost gets to be shot! What the fuck are you talking about? He is too cool for me. <laughs> Why he's so calm? <laughs> you almost killed me! Look how cool he is. I know. I know what kind of guy you were. All day, little doggy. Or are you gonna bite? What was that? Oh. Uh oh. You gotta put up or shut up now. That might have been the wrong thing. That was the wrong thing. Uh uh. No. <laughs> Just like you two. Always saying they're gonna kill each other. <laughs> you said yourself you thought about taking him out. I'm oh, fucking positive you're on the level. Let's try and figure out who the bad guy is, all right? I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Wow. <laughs> is it the guy on the floor? He not gonna get up, is he? Oh, no, nah, he done. I think he done. Would you forget your french fries to go with the soda? No, I had them already. Yeah? <laughs> I got something I think you might want to see, though. It's a what? big surprise. I'm sure you'll like it. Come on. <laughs> Just have faith and go see. A big surprise. <laughs> no, you bring it inside. He said he got, he got a big surprise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe a boy in blue here can wow. answer some of these questions about this rat business you've been talking about. You're a piece of work, my friend. I brought you a consolation prize. Mr. Blonde. Keep your chin up. I'll be talking to you. Don't worry. Big Vega. Big Vega. Yeah, because that was me and your daddy were just talking about. And I should have picked you up. Now that you had your head up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so that's his dad. I walked yeah. in the door. He's like, Vic, Vic, I'm so. They said Eddie was dead. Eddie? Very true. <laughs> oh, you know they gotta be close, but like, like they grew up together. Enough of this shit. Break it up. Get out of this uh, place now. Daddy, did you see that? What? Guy got me on the ground. He tried to fuck me. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> I like you a lot, buddy, but I don't think you're that way. You're like, if you don't leave me alone. He's a butt cowboy. This bitch. Ain't that a sad sight, Daddy? Man walks into prison, a white man walks out talking like a fuck. <laughs> I think it's all that black semen been pumped up. Oh. Uh. Well, I want to. First, I got to prove to uh, asshead that I can get a regular, you know, job, job type job before I can move out on my own. Come on up. We'll get you fixed up with Matthews. I'll tell him what's what. That just you know, I really appreciate sounds easy. What you guys are doing. And we'll talk to you, all right? Huh? Dad. The beast. You know he can handle himself, and you damn sure know you can trust him. Can you trust him? Rick? Yeah, right? How would you feel if 12th caller wins on the station? Where the seventies survived. Oh, I gotcha. Uh -huh. Is that supposed to be enthusiastic? You gotta be. <laughs> Enthusiasm is key. Uh oh. Do I sound like I'm fucking joking? He's fucking driving around with a cop in his trunk. Oh. Oh, that's him. So he gonna end up in the trunk. Oh man. Got the duct tape. Are those coffins sitting in the floor? I think so. Oh god. Hey, fuck you. You like being a fucking hero? You like being a fucking hero? Uh. Hey, Forrest, man. Bullshit. 
Hey, fuck you, man. You weren't there. We were. And I'm telling you, the cops had that store staked out. Mm. Okay, Mr. Fuck. Hey, cops show up! Where's Joseph? I don't know. I ain't talked to him. <laughs> Everybody at the door. Oh, Joe. Your daddy's coming down here. He taking his sweet time. A chance to breathe. I got a few questions of my own. Here. You ain't dying. He is. All right, Mr. Fucking Compassion. I will call somebody. Oh. No call. Snake Charlie. Blue. Either he's alive or he's dead. Or the cops got him. Or they don't. <laughs> Three options. Take That's this to the vast that you told me about. He's the reason the joint turned into a shooting spree. What are you, a fucking son of a partner? Tell him! This is what he was doing. Bam! 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 And winning, bam, and winning bam, money. Bam, 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 bam. Excuse for going on a kill crazy rampage. I don't like alarms, Mr. White. They all crazy. And they, and they, matter who's in their own special crazy way. Oh! White and pink. So I guess they go by colors. That's what I'm thinking too. Guess what? I think I'm parked in the red zone. <laughs> he said that just to break the ice. Now, we're good fuck what you know or don't know. But I'm gonna torture you anyway. Oh my. All you can do is pray for a quick death. And mumble. I thought he was about to do it. I did too. He still might. He still might do it. You ever listen to K. Billy's oh, man. Super Sounds in the 70s? Oh. Damn, look at his forehead. Oh, man. Babe. Oh god. This might get a little bad. I know. <laughs> I gotta feel it. Cause this sounds like his favorite song. No, no, no. Is he taking off his nose? He must be shaving his eyebrows. Is that as good for you as it was for me? <clears throat> hey, what's going on? Is that his ear? Oh. <laughs> oh, he just dropped it on the ground. Just whatever he was doing, it just sounded like it, it didn't feel good. Oh, gosh. What do you think he about to do with that? Obviously make something burn. Oh man. Hey, he dancing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I know it's just burning. Stop! Just stop! 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 Just talk to me for a minute! Don't! Please! Don't! Don't burn me! Please! Oh man! Uh, look, he about to guarantee. Y'all done? He about to don't get everybody caught! Don't what? Don't what? Don't what? Don't what? Listen to me more than Nash. I'm a cop. <laughs> what? Yeah. Frankie Fischetti he introduced us about five months ago. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I can't remember nothing I, at this moment. What? <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> Cuts my fucking ear off. I'm fucking the fuck. 
born. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm fucking dying here. Oh, you really? Shouldn't do that. I thought he died. I did too. Died and came back. How he? Just fucking head through that door. Mr. Orange. Now I'm ready to see about Mr. Orange. Like they said, there's, there's always a rat in every crew. I, I said it was he gonna get up off of the floor. Say hello to the motherfuckers. The only reason why I said that is because we watched Saw. Nice guy. Did it remind you of that? Said it's Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange? Mr. Orange. Okay, Mr. Orange. <laughs> Memorize what's important, the rest you make your own, all right? You can tell a joke, can't you? Nope. <laughs> Continue Don Rickles or some fucking body and tell the joke. Don right? Rickles. Not that hard. Things you gotta remember. Every time I bought some weed, I was buying for four or five different fucking people. <laughs> I said, hey, when's the next time you're getting some? Motherfucker, I'm trying to watch The Lost Boys, you know? When I get some, I'll let boys. you know. Even know what $10 worth looks like. This is a very weird situation. Precarious situation. I don't know if you remember about four Los Angeles County sheriffs and a German shepherd. And a dog. They're waiting for you? No, it's just a bunch of cops hanging out in the men's room talking. When I walk through the door, they all stop over the top. <laughs> you know, I gotta point it right at the He's side. supposed to I still be telling them the story. Please don't fucking move. And this little idiot is looking right at me, not at this real sexy oriental bitch, you know? She starts screaming at him, Chuck, Chuck, what are you doing? Listen to the officer. <laughs> yeah, he looking. I gotta drop my hands off. You know how to handle that situation. You shoot in your pants and dive in and swim. He still had the bag with him too, yeah. the, whole, the whole time. Tell me more about Kevin. Thing. Motherfucker looks just like the thing. The thing? The thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, showtime. So the thing is a, is a horrible, 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 horrible being. <laughs> Believe every fucking word because you're super cool. Okay. I have a pep talk like that in the mirror like every now and then, like every other morning. There goes our boy. E and Lois. She called it Lady E. Where was she from, Compton? <laughs> From Ladora Heights. Oh, well, Ladora Heights. That's uh -huh. the Black Beverly Hills. Oh, here. So, who was Christy Love? The fuck should I know? Right now, I'm totally fucking tortured. Well, now I know who Pam Grier is. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. She looked exactly like you. <laughs> and Francis. What's up on him? And she put some wacko glue on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm dead serious. They had to call the paramedics to cut the prick loose. Literally. <laughs> he did some crazy things. Oh. Was he all pissed off? Be thankful you're not Mr. Yellow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Mr. Brown, that's a little too close to Mr. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Pink sounds like Mr. <laughs> Brown, Pink. Some guy has some other job as Mr. Purple. You're Mr. Pink. Oh, my gosh. Who cares what your name is? can guard the door. I don't let anybody go in or go out. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown waits in the car. Parked across the street. Then tell him his thumb's next. After that, I'll tell you if he wears ladies' underwear. Sound like he didn't did this before. Right? Like, At least two or three times. He, Let's get a taco. He got this down to a T, like. Yeah, they go in there and he said two minutes, but two minutes is a long time. Oh man, he, he, that, that's the getaway car. Is that the getaway car? It looks like the getaway car. Oh my God. You got two of them. Why do you got to do it so much? They'd have to make sure. They have to make sure. I'm trying to see, have they already went inside? I guess they already have. Oh no, but at one point he gonna get shot. Oh gosh, somebody. At this point, everybody just split up, I guess. Hold it! Hold it! Right there! Get in the fucking car! Oh, this ain't caught. I thought he got I thought the cop did it. It wasn't a cop. 
I did too. Man, so he really, yeah, he could really got shot. Yeah, he was trying to, he was trying to take the car, and she wasn't having it. No way. <laughs> Look at what the fuck happened. He slashed the cop's face. Cop, off his ear was gonna burn him alive. This cop. No. He went crazy, something like that. Worse or better? I don't buy it. Doesn't make sense. The heck he looking at his ear? See how we acted? We did. It's right about the ear, it's hacked off. All right, let me just say this out loud. Well, I can just... Because I want to get this... going to decide out of the fucking blue to rip us off? Um, no. Okay. Why don't you tell me what really happened? Oh, gosh. <laughs> See, he, that's what I'm saying. He ain't going for it. Oh. Oh. That lump of shit's working with the LAPD. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's your proof? You don't need proof when you have instinct. I ignored it before, but no more. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh. stand up. You lost your fucking mind. And let's settle this with the fucking conversation. Joe. If you kill that man, you die next. Oh, gosh. Put that fucking gun down now. God damn you, Jones. Don't make me do it. Uh, Larry, stop uh -oh. pointing that fucking gun in my dad! Ah, they all shot each oh. other! No freaking way! Look. Who is that? No. No. That be me up on the That's what you call a three way. They all shot each other. That's a three way. <laughs> Lucky like you. Oh, y'all gonna die. Look, he trying to make it out. Look, they'll go to diamonds. Do 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 dee dee dee. Bye. Are you kidding? One, two, three, four. Dang. He going in chat. Look, he trying to. He trying to, he trying to power through it. Oh, I think they both about to die. They might as well just hug it out. You hear that? Oh man, I do. Oh, they got him too. I'm a cop. Larry. Sorry, buddy. Gosh. Wait, wait. Oh, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm. Wait. Is there any outtakes on this one? No. So they all died. <sighs> they all died. Uh, it, well, Everybody, I'm they ended up killing each other, basically. Simultaneously. Think of that. The three shot each other. The one guy, the one cop got shot. Then, then the, uh, the guy that was hiding under the, the ramp. <laughs> He ran <laughs> off with the diamonds. He ran out of there with the diamonds. He was cranking the car up. Sound like he couldn't get the car to crank up. Then he yeah. finally got the moving. And they was already out there waiting on him. Yeah. So they were waiting on them to come anyway. They were just waiting was, on them to get there. Yeah. But they were already waiting. Dang! It was just. A little somebody bit said too that late. too. They was like they 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 already staked staked out, staking out, watching us. It was just a little bit too late. Had they came like two minutes before, he might have lived. 
He might have had a chance. Man, I, I have, I've never seen a movie where somebody got shot and they lasted the entire movie to the very, very <laughs> end. I thought... I, I thought for a quick second until they actually showed the part where the where the lady actually had shot him that that was like fake that eventually like that other guy that w- that crawled up on him that he told that he was a cop at the very end mm-hmm. was gonna be in on it too I just you thought it was him too he either, was in on it either he was in on it but I didn't think because that's why I was like <laughs> I was like is it the guy on the floor because he kept saying that there was a rat. But I, I really thought that that was like all set up, like the blood and everything was gonna be something that was made. Oh, up. kind of like a prop. Yeah. To make it look like he was wounded, but he wasn't really. Yeah, wounded. like so I thought like he was gonna be able to take everybody out at the very end, but they still ended up like killing each other, like all of them killed each other. Well, me just by knowing, just by knowing what I was watching Tarantino films. When it started with it, with him in the back seat already shot and them driving, yeah, they already letting you know like something happened, but they're not gonna show you Everything what actually happened. And, and I think that's one of the genius things about like the writing and how they like the screenplay because like certain parts happen, yeah, but you don't know like what happened before that. Yeah, that led up to them driving in the car. It's I, like yeah, I, because we didn't even know that it, that it was a robbery or right. anything like that. They were just driving and he holding his hand in the back seat like. It, you're all right. Say you okay. Yeah. So, I knew, I knew and, and, eventually so, that we were yeah. going to get the story, though. So you, because it seems exactly. like that's like the classic Tarantino style. But, like, you get, but you get it like in bits and pieces or you get it close to the end. Yeah. And it, he always breaks it down like for each person, like kind of like what the background was on that person. Just like he did with the cop and him trying to learn the yeah. anecdote that he had to learn, the joke and everything. And then... Even from like the planning perspective, what what they were gonna do and for each you know, how they were gonna do each it. Each person. Yeah. So the crazy part was like it literally the plan worked up until the end, like until until and, he got shot. That's really probably when it really started going downhill. Was because he got shot, then when they pulled up with the car, like there was no getaway car because brown or blue, whichever one they he was shot. So it just everything just went left. Yeah, it was completely chaotic. Whatever the how the plan was supposed to go, it didn't go it as didn't, planned, <laughs> like at all. No. And the reason why it didn't go as planned is because you had the plant, you right. had the rat that, 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 that was planted that was in the crew. Happen. Yeah, he told them everything that was gonna happen. But oh man, because it, it was only it was only gonna take two minutes to run in there. See, but but two minutes is still a long time when you're committing the crime. They should have said, well, no, no, because that would have been too dangerous. Did they? I was going to say, I thought even the lady, when the lady drove up, I was like, oh, they probably set that up too. So that she would drive up and they'd have somebody to stop. <laughs> but they didn't know yeah, that the guy she was going to get shot. She was just an yeah, innocent bystander. Yeah, when I think more of it, yeah, that, there wouldn't have been no way that could have happened. That, that's well, she could have been that. undercover. She could have been, but that guy, they would have shot her. Like, you know what I mean? It would have been too... Too much of a risk for them to just put somebody out there to do that like that. Because they would have been too exposed. It's possible. No. No? No. No way they would ever do something like that. A bystander? Mm-mm. Or undercover? I don't know. Undercover. Like, no. I'm saying that you see what the, when the cops pulled up, what happened? <laughs> yeah. He was ready. So, I'm just like, there's no way they would put anybody. Somebody else just like. Uh, yeah. By standing by, yeah, by standing, standing there, okay, okay. yeah, right. So, yeah. but this was still good though, like, but definitely Quentin Tarantino, definitely completely like Quentin Tarantino's fashion, the way that he do movies. Mm-hmm. I just like the way that it played out in the end, yeah. and even in the end, like the whole crescendo, like the whole leading up to the end, you kind of knew something was gonna happen, yeah, because it 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 pretty much went wrong from from the get go, literally. Well, literally. That yeah, pretty much went wrong from the get-go. Gosh. Over the top. Okay? To say it. <laughs> to say it and lightly. How, he is the most. And, and how much he was, like, bleeding. I was just I like. I know. I was like, how many pints do you have? I know. Because he, he held on to the very, very end. Not only that, but then he was, uh, like, he. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, what? he shot the guy. He was up talking and. Moving around and everything. I'm like, yeah, bro, he should have been dead like five times already. He should have. He should have. From the very beginning. I thought it was going to get real bad. Like when he, when he lost his ear and then he went and got the gasoline. I was like, oh, he man. Does, why would he do? But see, that's another thing. Oh. I, 
I didn't know what was about to happen in that moment, but I'm like, if he does that, that's going, that's going to make smoke. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, yeah. So, that that have messed up the whole right. warehouse. That's so why I was like, why would he even think of something like that? Like he said, he's a crazy guy. He's loony. He, yeah. Looney Tunes. Obviously. At the yeah. end of the day. <laughs> but I but I did recognize a lot of actors in this movie too that we saw from like Pulp Fiction too. Uh a couple of them did look familiar. The one guy with the blue suit on. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other guy was one of the guys that that came at the end on Pulp Fiction to help clean up the house. Oh no, clean the car out. Yeah. Um, obviously Quinn Tarantino. Mm-hmm. And then and then the one guy I rec- I recognized it's him another- from Free Willy. Oh, and and, t- and, t- and uh, <laughs> I don't know his name. Though. Tim Roth. And then I know the other guy that you're talking about too. <laughs> yeah, he was the dad in Free Willy. Don't you laugh? Why am I coordinating Free Willy with Quentin Tarantino's movies? I mean, if, <laughs> if he if he acted in it, then he was in it. Yeah. That's all I remember, though. I just don't know his name. I know you're talking about the the heavy, the heavy set guy when he he was wrestling with. Uh, no, no, the guy that was in there cutting off the guy's ear and. Oh, with the black hair. Yeah. Okay. Him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know you were talking about the don't heavy y'all set laugh. guy. <laughs> I knew you were talking about the heavy set guy, but I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, but I did recognize They were wrestling. Too. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they were the one that was wrestling in his dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but the other guy, too, I recognized him. I just didn't know where. With the red hair. He was in Rush Hour. Yeah, that's right. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. We got it. But y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment yeah. section. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. We're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Peace and blessings. Y'all take yeah. it easy.